Good morning guys, it's Nadine and I am here to share with you all a haul. I'm going to say this is going to be my first haul for December. You know, I've noticed something that in November I only had maybe like two or three hauls. That's freaking amazing. Um, yeah, I'm like so stinking proud of myself. Um, I don't know though. I mean, I think I've lessened the amount of hauls and I think I'm I think I've lessened the amount of money I'm spending. <laughs> um, <clears throat> but I actually have to go back and look at that. But I think I'm doing pretty doggone good, I'll tell you what. Um, anyway, this morning, this is a combined haul. And these are the things that I purchased. Um, when did I purchase these? I want to say some of this was done on Cyber Monday. Maybe Black Friday or Cyber Monday. Or maybe both, probably. Um, <clears throat> so let me show you first things first. I ordered uh, a couple of things from this place that I've never bought from before. Never purchased things from before. But I saw the lady, um, her, I don't know what her name is, but the name of her shop is called Scrapbooking Made Simple. And she actually has tons of videos on YouTube, which I will put the link for her YouTube channel in the description box below. Um, anyway, she had a 20% off uh everything in her store um and i purchased a couple of things and the first thing i bought was the silicone rubber um <clears throat> excuse me i have one of these already uh and i don't know why i bought another one um i think it was because it was like a great deal or whatever so normally it's like six dollars but i think i got it for like maybe four dollars maybe less than four perhaps maybe four dollars exactly and then I bought one of these things, which is the crease pads, because I didn't have one. And, uh, yeah, I didn't have one, so I needed one uh, for my embossing and whatnot. And um, got one of these. So this was regular nine, but I think I got it for seven, I'm pretty sure. And then um, she gave me a free gift. And in it, there are paper, or it's this card kit. Oh, it's cute. It's a bull bunny card kit. Oh, hello, I didn't even look at it. Um, so in this kit, it's called Crazy Love. And, uh... I got this for free <clears throat> as a gift and it has eight die cut cards eight envelopes two six by twelve die cut elements with 23 pieces on them a six by twelve adhesive chipboard element with 24 pieces uh, a rub-on that has 27 greetings on it and then one instruction sheet <clears throat> i love this i think it's so stinking cute i should use this for valentine's if my daughter doesn't steal it before then. <laughs> um, so that's what I got from Scrapbooking Made Simple. Okay. Now, <clears throat> the next thing I did was I got some stuff from Blitzy. Blitzy had a sale on Spellbinders. And it's this thing called Card Creator. Now, I... Uh, you all know, I'm all about being honest. I'm a lazy, stinking card maker <laughs> uh lazy stinking scrapbooker period okay i like things done quickly and simply but still looking really nice um and so the bottom line of this whole thing is that when i make cards and i want to layer them sometimes my measurements are like off and then i have to recut and recut and recut and then i get so freaking pissed off at myself that i'm like you know what? why am i even bothering doing this <laughs> um so i'm i was watching uh, a video on this and i was like you know what this looks like a really great idea especially for the lazy scrapbooker like myself sam shh. um so what it is and i will do a video on this um instead of having to pre or figure out your measurements and then cut it down and then hope that it's correct and making sure that you have the right amount of space on all sides and whatnot this totally takes the guesswork out of all of that stuff so this is called Spellbinders Nestability Card Creators. There's two, there's an A and a B, and I have the A right here and the B right here. And what it does is it allows you to um, cut out your layers or your panels <clears throat> so that way that so that way it fits perfectly on a typical card. So like for an A2 card, um, these mats are awesome and i think it's gonna save me a heck of a lot of time and a heck of a lot of frustration um and i'm looking forward to it so these are the basic sets okay and these are <clears throat> if i'm not mistaken they are bigger than your current instabilities right now um 
and they have and you can put them together or you can use them one set together or you can combine them to make different um borders around your edges and you know what there are some great videos on well not great but there are a couple of videos on them that i will link in the description box description box below but i'll also do a video on how to use this and what it looks like and how simple it is then they also make these things and these are the more decorative ones so this one i got and the and these things go on these things so like you know how you'd have to say for instance you're layering a card you did like your mat right and then you came back and you had to go punch out like another thing and maybe it doesn't look so hot or whatever well here's the thing these things will alleviate you from getting frustrated with that and these things will cut out exactly to fit on one of these sets right here so this one is called polka dots and this one is called the fancy ribbon threader and if i'm not mistaken there's one more that they didn't have for sale on blitzy but i'm gonna snatch up anyway from probably joanne's i think i saw it on sale um <clears throat> So these were, let me see, these were, these were, these were, I think it was like $19, $19 yep, $19.95 for each one of these things. So what happened was I had started off buying just the basics A. When I saw it on Blitzy, I bought just, just this one and then I bought these two. And then I was watching a video and then I was like, holy crap, I got to go back and get this one. So I ran back and, and I went online and I got this from Blitzy. So yeah, got those four, which I'm very excited about using. And I'm actually going to use them for my Christmas cards. Hallelujah, they came in time so that I can make them. But let me tell you what, if I get lazy this year, which sometimes it happens, I'm going to just go and put a picture up and take it to Walgreens and have it printed out. Happy holidays from us <laughs> with my kids' pictures on it. I've been known to do that in the past, but whatever. <laughs> okay, now, um, let me see. I got some stuff from Two Peas. Oh my gosh, that's right. I forgot I bought this. Um, don't you just love when you buy stuff and then you forget and then you open it up and then it's like freaking Christmas? I love that. Um, <clears throat> so, I finally gave in and bought the Oh Snap stuff. And I've been eyeing it. I have been. I've been wanting it, but I've been kind of waiting because I'm like, you know, I have so much crap. I really need more uh craft stuff like i need a hole in the head but i guess one more hole in the head won't uh, hurt me <laughs> still alive and kicking um so i bought oh snap and i stinking love it um i got a couple of these uh journaling pages so let's see <clears throat> so this is one of um see how cute is this four by sixes um these are the months this is another month <clears throat> and these are double sided so oh hello i did myself in i have to go back and get i should have bought two of these because this side has january february march and then this side is april may june okay hello what monkey's gonna do that um because if i like see if i because i really like this and i cannot use this by itself because it's on the other side of april so i need to go back and get another one Ah, <sighs> that's why hard. Okay, anyhow. Um, here's another 4x6, but these are um, upright instead of laying down, instead of vertical or horizontal. And these are so cute. Life is great, so very happy. I really, you know, I really stinking love simple stories. Um, I love, I don't know what it is about them. I love their look. I love just the simplicity of it all. Um, Sam, I don't love you, so stop your barking. <laughs> um... Then here's another one. Uh, let's see. I like this. This is really cute. Now, these are bigger than 4 by 6s Let me see what size this is. Wait. Let's see. This is a 6, six by... 6 by 7 and 3 quarters? Well, that's an odd size. What would I do with that? Okay. Well, whatever. I can cut it down, I guess. Or... Oh, you know what? I can actually uh, use this in my Recollection Smash book because it is the same size. Um, <clears throat> really, really cute though. So that's another page. And here's another page. And these, I have to tell you guys, I really love them because these are the ones that are the strips. And in Becky Higgins Project Life Protector Sheets, she has these really odd, long, stinking um, protector thingies. And I'm like, oh, hell, I always got to measure it and then cut it out and be like, oh. Um, but this alleviates my whole problem with that. I can just cut one of these bad boys out and then use them and not have to worry about that awkward shape or awkward size uh, page protector. So that is one thing. And then I got um, the 6x6 paper pad. You know what? I'm looking at this and I swear to God, I thought I bought more stuff, more snap stuff. Uh, 
Now I feel like I got robbed because it's really not that much. Um, so let me go back and look at it and maybe pick up some more stuff. <laughs> Anyhow, this is the uh, 6x6 paper pad. And it has the same stuff that I just showed you guys. Um, and I really, really like the smaller scaled down version of it. Because I find that I usually, you know, I mean, I do a lot of 4x6 stuff. So, and the Becky Higgins projects, not 4x6, but um, the page protectors, the little pockets are 3x4. So, that's perfect for that. Then I also got this. And I cannot recall if this was from Simon Says. Because I don't have an invoice for it. Um... This might be from Simon Says, this next bunch of things right here. So I got this little arrow washi tape, which is really cute. Then I also got this one that says love right here, which is really cute. And then I got Evilicious Stamps. And this is the, um, <clears throat> this is one that says love and it's like a tab. Love this. I like that. Really, really cute. And then I got Technique Tuesday, more of the uh, 304 journaling cards. And I got the Studio Calico frames, um, Polaroid frames. Now, I know I know, I bought more stuff from them, but where is it? <laughs> and then lastly, I got this Studio, oh no, not lastly, second to the last, I got the Studio Calico Hero Arts. This is the new stamp set, um, and it is really cute. I'm a sucker for stinking stu Studio Calico. As a matter of fact, I'm taking the class from them. I also purchased Becky Higgins' um, book about Project Life. It was like $6 or whatever, her ebook. But let me show you guys the stinking goodies for real, like, <clears throat> so yesterday in the mail and I did get this um, scrapbook.com was having a sale the week of Thanksgiving okay so every single day they had something for sale so I think it was starting like Friday Saturday Sunday whatever and they had these we are memory keeper punches these tab punches look at this these punches are freaking solid. Look at how humongous that is. That ain't, that's no joke right there, people. <laughs> um, so I got this one, and this is the, um, and these are two-inch tabs, okay? So this one has the rounded corner. This one is more like an oval shape, and this one is purple. Cute, love it, love it. And then this is, um, this is like with that little whatever. I don't know what this is called. But anyhow, I... I love tabs, okay? I'm a stinking sucker for tabs. Um, I'm going to use this in my project life. Not only my project life, but also in just my regular daily planner thing in Majigi. Because I tab everything. I'm like a tab queen. Anyhow, so I got these things. And I think it was like really inexpensive. Although I don't have the, uh, what do you want to call it? Um, but anyhow, look at, they give me this Fiskars paper cutter. This is new. It's kind of like the um, other paper cutter that I have from, what, Scotch, I think. So I'm looking forward to using this when I wrap presents this year. Um, so yeah, that is my really quick haul. And my stinking battery is going dead, so I gotta go. Um, but I hope you guys have a really great day. I will talk to you guys later. I'll be back because I actually have some Stampin' Up! stuff that I gotta share too. Alright, talk to you guys soon. Bye!